Hello, I'm Dr. Andrew Neville. And one of the more frustrating symptoms that a lot of my patients will come to me with is hair loss. Now, there are lots of different reasons for uh, hair loss, a lot of different causes, what we call pathophysiologic causes, things like that. And you kind of want to rule that stuff out as far as nutrient deficiencies and, oh, there's a few autoimmune or hormone types of issues that can cause hair loss. Um, however, if you are suffering from hair loss and you also have either symptoms of an underlying adrenal problem, or we know definitively that you have adrenal fatigue, then there's a very specific way you want to address the hair loss because all that, you know, all those vitamins, all the shampoos and all the fancy hair vitamins, they're not going to work. They're not going to work. So hair loss is very common. Most in my patients, most commonly, uh, hair loss is going to be a result of adrenal problems and or thyroid problems. Okay. Now, if you heard me speak on this at all before, what you'll uh, remember perhaps is that it's the adrenal problems, right? The stress physiology that actually suppresses the thyroid and causes the thyroid problems in the first place. So when it's adrenal and or thyroid, again, it's going to go back to, it's going to be the adrenal issues. I mean, there's plenty of anecdotes, even in peer reviewed research uh, uh, journals where they'll notice a sudden traumatic stress and people lose all their hair. Happens all the time. Or so, suddenly somebody will turn gray. And basically it's that, it's the physiology of growing hair, right? Of, of growing hair, growing skin, growing nails and, and having it uh, healthy and, and, uh, and, and you know, protein rich, things like that. That's all a parasympathetic rest and digest building anabolic kind of a physiology, right? Where we're building bone, building hair, building nails, right? But when somebody has adrenal problems, right? We're stuck in the opposite fight or flight. We're not really concerned about growing hair, are we? Right? We've got to fight the tigers. So the focus is all on that tiger. Now, you also have people talk about autoimmune hair loss, like certain kinds of alopecia, which we'll talk about. Again, that's going to go back to this physiology too, because when you're, you're in stress physiology, you're suppressing your immune system, causing it to create increased antibodies to things, including your body's own tissue, could be joint tissue, skin tissue, thyroid tissue, could be hair follicles, right? So you can see that autoimmune um, hair loss with regard to the adrenals. I'm going to go after the adrenals as well, maybe tweak the immune system as well. As we shift, so last thing is there's also um, reproductive hormone imbalances that can cause this, especially with regard to testosterone and the production, overproduction or underproduction and the metabolism of testosterone as well, which again is going to come back to your adrenals. And this is especially true in women because the vast majority of a woman's testosterone actually comes from her adrenals, not her ovaries. So we have to have that adrenal. Um, uh, physiology normalized to be able to shift this physiology, right? And when we shift people out of stress physiology, we turn off that wear and tear. And then we start turning on the healing, repair, bone building, protein organization building, right? Hair, skin, nails, all those things. We have to turn on that physiology. It's once we turn that physiology on, then the body will use all these you know, great foods we're going to eat for hair, the, all the minerals and the biotin and micro minerals, all these things that we know we're supposed to use for hair. But we've got to turn this physiology on. Taking just like those fancy vitamins for hair is like trying without shifting this physiology. It's like trying to repair a house, right? And you want to bring all the equipment and the supplies and the lumber and all that stuff, bring it to the shop, the, to the job site, right? But if nobody tells the crew to actually show up, not much is going to get done. The way we tell the crew to show up in our body is to turn on that physiology, rest and digest, healing, repair, physiology. Then you can use all these fancy supplements and the body can uh, start to kind of regrow hair on its own. So it happens. It's incremental, but you got to address that underlying cause. Good luck.